here guys it's me crystal so it's time for my first goal wrap up video of the year so first i'm going to uh, review the goals that i set for the first quarter of the year and then we're going to talk about the goals i set for the second quarter of the year and as you can probably tell from my extra sanity disposition today i'm super super excited about it so i had five goals that i set for the first quarter of the year and that's kind of an arbitrary number basically that's like the max amount of goals that i'm allowed to set because apparently i have a tendency to want to set like seven to ten goals and also apparently I can't keep up with like more than two or three goals but anyway so the first quarter of course covers January February and March and the first goal I had set was to read 15 books I did this I think I'm up to 20 something right now which is great okay so my second goal was to work on my musical project apparently I decided it was a good idea to work on a musical and I actually forgot about this goal the first two weeks of the year which is probably a sign that I had put too many goals on my goal plate or whatever but I did start working on it and I have worked on it I've done a little bit of something every month I have everything done so I am officially in the songwriting portion of the musical you think I would be more excited about it I'm just not in a good mood today or something. It doesn't matter. Anyway. So I did do this. Um, barely, but I did do this. But what that work has entailed, it was basically like I needed to name all my characters because people were just called, you know, by like the roles they're playing, you know. So I just had like girl and, you know, boy and, you know, witch or whatever. So I had to give everyone names. Um, I needed to come up with a plot. I had to solidify my setting because that was kind of ambiguous. And then I needed to figure out how many musical numbers I had and how I was going to format it. So I didn't know if I wanted to do what I call like Phantom of the Opera style, like traditional musical style where you have like a song and then talking and then singing and then talking. Or if I wanted to do more like an opera style, which is the also the Hamilton style, which is basically you're just singing the entire time. And I decided to go with a sing the entire time format because I'm not really in the mood to like do any like writing. <laughs> so I thought it would cut down on you know me having to you know write <laughs> so I ended up with 46 musical numbers and then when everything is done if I want to go in and like add like little setting details in between each song then if it's necessary whatever I can do that but I'm not worrying about that right now so yeah so my third goal was to build a regular yoga habit and so while I've done this um Every week since the beginning of December, I don't really feel comfortable saying that this goal is done because where I am right now, maybe March has just not been a good month for me, but I just don't feel like I'm happy with anything. And so even though like, yeah, whatever, I've done it, I don't feel happy about it. Like, I don't feel like I've made a lot of progress. I don't, I just kind of feel like I guess I feel like I'm not doing anything. I don't know if that makes any sense because I'm like, I don't know how I can do something and feel like I'm not doing anything or maybe I'm just not happy with the level that I'm at right now and it's just, <laughs> I'm just really unhappy about it. So even though like, yeah, I've been doing yoga or whatever, I'm not comfortable saying that it's a habit because I feel like any day now I can wake up and just stop because I don't feel like it's like ingrained in my life. I still feel like I'm having to force myself to do it. And I just feel like a habit is something you do automatically and a habit is something you don't have to like force yourself to do. And so because I'm still forcing myself to do it, I don't really feel like this is a habit. So I didn't check this off on my official like little checklist that I have but yes I have been doing yoga but no I don't feel like it's a habit so maybe I should be nicer to myself and say hey you did it but the point was for it to feel like a habit and I used to word habit and it doesn't feel like a habit so no and so then my fourth goal was to uh, practice this aria. So I wanted to learn the Queen of the Night aria from the Magic Flute musical. So I also forgot about this goal um, the first couple of weeks of the month. And then I actually looked at my goals and I was like, oh, I have not even thought about my musical or thought about 
um, this aria. And then like, even though I had the music, like the sheet music, like piano music, I didn't have the sheet music with the lyrics on there and the song is in German. And so I'm like, I don't speak German. <laughs> and so I was having a really hard time following along and like singing the song because I'm like, even though I know how it goes, like, I don't know, you know, I don't know the song well enough to like be able to pick up like what to like know what words go with like which notes or whatever but I did find some sheet music with the lyrics on there and all of a sudden like what was a super stressful thing like the first like two weeks I was doing this became like incredibly easy um because I do have like a tiny bit of like musical skill or something <laughs> so once I could see the lyrics on the sheet music like I was totally fine so I did give myself a check for this I did do this um I didn't do it every week like I was supposed to do it every week and work on it every week but I did do it um most of this quarter except for like maybe three weeks and this was also the goal that had a time limit and so I don't have to do this anymore <laughs> after the march which I'm, I'm, on one hand I'm like I'm kind of glad because like I haven't gotten sick of singing it yet and I still want to sing it occasionally but it's a really it's actually a pretty difficult song to sing and so like I can sing it if I like bring it down because it's a really high song and so it's like if I don't try to sing it on key I can sing it it actually sounds pretty decent and I'm actually I'm like getting a cadence to it and it sounds pretty nice but um I'm not singing it on key because I, I guess my vocal cords are not strong enough right now because I went um quite a few years um not singing regularly <laughs> and so apparently your vocal cords are a muscle and if you don't use them they're not as strong as they used to be so I need to build up my vocal cords some before I can actually um sing the song properly but I actually um can sing the song in general and I actually have a, most of it memorized as well so and I can sing it with just the music by itself and so I'm like okay this is this is much better <laughs> than I thought it was going to go but anyway so I did do this and then my fifth goal for the first quarter was to stick to my budget which is code for save money specifically save money into my car fund and I broke my monthly goals down into like how much money I wanted to save in certain months and I did do all of this so again check mark and so technically I guess I did five out of five goals but I'm only giving myself credit for four and again you think I would be really happy about it but March is not <laughs> a good month for me mentally so I guess I'm just like I don't know if I'm being too hard on myself or if I'm just upset <laughs> I also put a note um on my checklist that when I said stick to budget I put mostly <laughs> because I can't I didn't like entirely stick to my budget but I did save the money I wanted to save so I give myself credit for that so I should be really happy because I completed you know most of my goals if not all of my goals for the first quarter of the year so gold star for crystal okay so I picked five goals for the second quarter of 2021 which of course covers April, May, and June and again I picked five and again it's an arbitrary number it doesn't I don't know why I keep picking five goals because I really don't think I can keep up with five different things to focus on right now but I picked five anyway so I'm gonna read them off so the first goal I picked was to continue forcing myself to do yoga and I might like change it up a little bit and maybe do some belly dancing because it apparently belly dancing is the only thing I don't have to force myself to do because apparently I find it really fun um so I might um do some belly dancing because it's still kind of a meditative experience I'm so focused on the movements that I get out of my head and I feel better mentally when I'm done um, we'll see, because the yoga is not really helping my brain right now, at least not in March, which is the whole reason why I wanted to do it. But anyway, so my goal is to continue forcing myself to do something three times a week, because that I, those are the easiest days for me to do something, the days I pick to do something, and where I have, like, the most free time or whatever. 
Okay, so my second goal is to basically take time to sing um, for about an hour every single week. Um, just because it's like, now that I know that my vocal cords are not as strong as they used to be, I would like to strengthen them because I also have other singing goals that I've tried to do in other years that I had to abandon just because um, I couldn't get proper practicing in where I lived before because I didn't want to bother my neighbors and then I tried going to a studio, but I, I just don't want, I just, I just feel really uncomfortable if I feel like somebody can hear me. So I only did that a couple of times and I didn't sing the Phantom because I was like, I, I can't relax. So, so I wanted to go up a few notes, you know, but also like, I'm not super great at singing low notes. So I want to extend my range down. So I have a bunch of songs that I like singing that, you know, will stretch my vocal cords both directions. We'll see. So my second goal is just, to, to start singing every week um, because I've been wanting to do that for years and now I can do that without pestering people and feeling like I can't relax and so I want to finally do that. <laughs> So my third goal is to continue saving money every month. And for once, I didn't write down stick to my budget. I actually specifically said continue saving money every month. So um, the third tier of my car fund is actually scheduled to be done in May. I might want to save a little bit more in there. Um, but even after I finished that, I realized my emergency fund um, actually didn't have enough money in it. <laughs> because it's like I pretty much did like just housing and utilities and I didn't actually include things like food or like gas for my car <laughs> so um after I finish my car fund and I get another car then I will continue saving money and get some more money in my emergency fund and then we'll save up for a vacation or something if I ever feel like going anywhere and my fourth goal is to read 15 books again with the arbitrary numbers um, I try to read about five books a month because I know if I read about five books a month, then I should meet, um, the reading goal that I set every year, which is usually between 50 and 60 books. I would love to read like, you know, 90 or 100 books a year, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not there right now as far as the speed that I'm reading and whatever. And then my last goal for the second quarter of the year is to write three songs for the musical, which I feel like is not a very ambitious goal, especially since one of the songs is already done. And, but I have to, like, have to rework the lyrics a little bit to, like, better fit, like, the point in the plot that the story takes place in. Because when I wrote it originally, I had just started, like, brainstorming the idea and, like, getting the plot together and everything. So I was like, I'm probably going to have to rewrite the lyrics when I get the plot finalized. So I'm, you know, I haven't counted that song as done yet. <laughs> but all the music is done, just, you know, we worked the lyrics some. So that's going to count from one of the songs for this goal. But anyway, so that is all. And hopefully this next quarter will be like super great. And yeah, so let me know if you guys set any kind of yearly goals or monthly goals or quarterly goals or bi-monthly or weekly or whatever. And I will see you guys on Wednesday and bye.